Our last key point we're gonna talk about jerk out of the big four is going to be follow through. Okay, this is going to achieve the locked out overhead position. And unfortunately, where a lot of people do not get it right, and they've done 98% of the lift correctly out on that platform or in training, and they're just falling to pieces at the end because of this one little thing. Follow through is very, very important. And we need to understand it's a continuation of the dip and drive till the end of the movement. Reasons people don't do well on jerks and miss the follow through are the three things. They do not apply pressure up into the bar appropriately. They dip and drive and they use their hands to extend and follow that through, omitting the actual rack position and shelf to shove effectively the bar off their weight. It's a totally different feeling when you feel it, it's a magnificent. When you just try to do it with your legs and hands, it's not as much. Execution, all right, and continuing to press through until locked out, people stop doing that. So they'll go ahead and they'll split into that position Boom, and right through here, they'll keep pressing, then right here, they stop. They're not continuing to execute until fully locked out. Then the worst thing is the continued tension through that recovery phase. They'll start to let go, or they'll give up their upper back tension, and that bar will fail, unfortunately, upon the recovery. These three things are very important to follow through and need to be drilled just as much as all the rest.